Shalom Yashirala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity. And in truth, with this great gospel coming out of our Bible, our Bible, if you're an Israelite, and um, we've been scattered amongst all these nations, that's motherfucking phone. Yeah, we've been scattered amongst all these nations, right? So our people look like um everybody. Our people look like everybody. And um this message is going out. That's why the Lord got it on the internet. That's why you could you could play our videos in any language. Yeah, you could go to India and you'll find these videos. You could play it in the Indian language, you could play it in the, um the Malaysian language, language, French, Spanish, whatever language, right? Because why the word is being spread. This internet is not for rappers to be promoting their rap videos and women to be shaking their asses and niggas to be talking bullshit. Really, this was set up for the Lord to, to wake up the elect. Because this society is gonna gonna fall. This internet, this Esau computer shit, that's a that's thing gonna be a thing of the past, man. This this thing about to be in the history books. In the history books, man. We looking for a new heaven and a new earth. Where what it says, wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. I'm going to read the book of Revelations 19 and 9. And it says, and he said unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage. <laughs> right? Blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yeah. This ain't for everybody. Only the elect is going to be able to stay for the deliverance, for the marriage, for the commute, for um, us coming back with the Lord. That's what's happened. The Lord, we're coming back to our power. The Lord said, you will not be my people. Now the Lord is about to let us be his people once again. That means what? We get to be gods. We get new new bodies, new minds, new hearts, right? No more of us committing sin. No more of us going off like we did. No more um, iniquity coming out of our, our nation. Yeah. So it's going to be new things. That's what we look forward to. I'm going to read it. It says, and he, and he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of the Most High. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. The spirit of prophecy. And that's why that's what we do. We tell you what's about to happen before it happens. And it don't matter if it takes a hundred years, fifty years. As if it's coming out of the Bible, it's gonna happen. If it was prophesied by one of the prophets of old, and we're we're speaking the same words, it's gonna it's gonna come to pass. It's gonna come to pass on that ass. Because a lot of our people, they don't believe the scriptures. But like we said, if you don't believe, nothing's going to change the word of the Lord. These words are still going to come to pass. That's why we're only looking for the believers, the believers. Fuck the non-believers, right? And I'm going to read um, verse 11. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he sat upon him, was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth... He, he judge in righteousness he doth judge and make war yeah that's what the lord yahweh shai is coming back for to make war to make war man you got he was pierced right he was crucified right all these different things they did unto our, our lord and what what happened jake you think the lord is gonna forget you think the lord is gonna forget when the lord when the earth was set up for him he this is the son of the heavenly father you think the Lord, even the Father, you think the Father gonna let these people get away for what they did to the, to our Lord? That's why when it said, um, let the let the curses be on our our children and upon us and our children. Look at, look at how these niggas is dying like roaches. These niggas is getting fucking killed. 13, 14, 3 years old, ten years old, twenty years old. And guess what, man? Oh no, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, hey, man, I came home from work the other night, man. About thirty motherfuckers standing around a bunch of candles. Crying and shit, man. <laughs> yeah, I said, call her lawyer. How about shimmy? I was shy about shimmy. Because, yeah, we understand the judgment. We understand the judgment. The Lord said to be a prophet. 
not to be a motherfucking gangbanger, not to be a, a rapper, not to be a football player, not to be an actor in Hollywood, not to be a scientist, right? Not to be a doctor or lawyer. Man, he's he setting up prophets, man. This is a book of Ezekiel. I'm reading Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman, yeah, a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth and give them warning. What the Lord said, hear the words at my mouth and give them warning from me. Yeah, man, this ain't our words. This is the words of the Lord. And a lot of you people, you, you really hate God, to be honest. You really fucking hate God. Why? Because you hate order. That's why you like Esau, because Esau is fucking out of order, man. Underneath these other nations, you, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. But, man, the Lord ain't dealing with that type of spirit. The Lord gave you a method of operation. If you ain't going by that method of operation, you're going to be fucking annihilated, man. But guess what? That's why you don't like the Lord. Because you, you want to do what you want to do. You like the way you live. You like being filthy. You like being fucking polluted, man. So, yeah, you, the Lord ain't dealing with that spirit. Ezekiel 2 and 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. And most of you Jakes, man, you don't want to hear. We keep telling you, man, we're speaking to the elect. A lot of you, man, you come on these videos and you put up, you put in your two cents. You want to speak your two cents? Really, your zero cents. You that shit is bullshit. You ain't got no sense. You ain't got no knowledge. You ain't got no wisdom. But you, you, you always got something to say. That's these people. They ain't got no knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding. But always got something to say. Always got something to say. I'm reading says Ezekiel two and five, and they, whether they will hear. <clears throat> Or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. They are a rebellious house, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We, I'm going to say, we are a rebellious house. That's why we need the Lord, the Lord to cleanse us. The Lord to heal us, man. The Lord to make us right in our minds. Because, man, right now, we are not right in, right in our minds, man. We already been polluted by the ways of the other nations. We've been polluted by our own thoughts, our own ways. <laughs> Right, we should be following you. How about shimmy outside? It says, and they rather they will hear, rather will they will forbear, for they are rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet. Bear with me, because they don't right now. They don't look at us as prophets. What do they look at us as? <coughs> niggas on the streets with Bibles. They be like, look at those niggas on the streets with Bibles. But guess what? The niggas on the streets and with the Bibles, what they doing? They blowing the trumpet. They playing the Chicago streets, fucked up. They blowing the trumpets. They're giving our people warning, but our people don't want to take warning. They don't want to take heed to the words of these scriptures. Our people, man, like we said, rebellious house, a seed of evildoers. That's what the Bible say. I'm reading it again. It says, yet shall they, yet shall they know that there have been a prophet among them. They're going to know a prophet been among them, man. Eh? I'm reading it again, Ezekiel 2 and 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So all we got to do as the men of the Lord is go out here and really just warn the people. Yeah. Show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob's, their, their, their sins, man. We got to tell them what they've been doing wrong. And we got to tell them that the Lord is not accepting it no more. Yeah, the Lord winked. The Lord's no longer winking. The Lord is no longer winking at our, our, our filthiness. Yeah, the Lord's about to look at us like damn near he, heathens. If you don't get your act in order, the Lord about to be looking at your ass as a fucking heathen. You see, he, man, heathens is like, um, what's that, uh, collateral damage. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter. Who give a fuck? Who care a heathen died? Yeah, heathens get killed all the goddamn time. Ain't nobody, man, wait till you see the kingdom. They gonna come, they gonna go. Yeah, they motherfucking king, man. We gonna be, man, flipping the motherfuckers over like pancakes. These goddamn heathens, we gonna beat their ass to death. <laughs> We gonna work their ass to death, and <laughs> yeah, we gonna ship their ass off to death. Yeah, in a container of a hot box that you 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 ain't gonna make it to your destination. Cause when you go back into slavery, man, they a lot of slaves did not make it to that destination in America from the West Coast or from America to Europe. They died on them ships, man, underneath, underneath harsh harsh conditions, right? So we supposed to fucking treat these goddamn heathens good in the kingdom? Hell no, nah, we ain't going to treat them good in the kingdom. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith 
of the saints. We are patiently waiting for payback. We're patiently waiting for back payback. And this is all part of the prophecy, man. We telling our people, you about to have full rulers. Oh, no, man, we don't want to hear that, man. man, man I just want to work eight hours and go home. Yeah, Jake just want to work eight fucking hours and go home, old slave ass nigga. Old docile ass, captivity ass nigga. That's why you ain't never been nothing. You ain't never going to be nothing. You're going to continue to stay in your docile ways. And the Lord going to destroy a whole bunch of you Jakes. Yeah, a lot of you Jakes, you ain't going to make it, man. This is um your final destination here in Babylon the motherfucking great. In Babylon the great. Like I said, I'm reading one last time. It says, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, right? For they are a rebellious house. Yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them, Shalawan. 